Hello everyone and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. In this video, we'll explore the module called Understand Account and Contact Relationships. Throughout this session, we'll learn how Salesforce helps us manage the connections and hierarchies between people, companies and sales teams. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce trailblazers. Let's begin by identifying the three types of relationships. Salesforce tracks three key relationship types to help you seamlessly manage connections between accounts, contacts, and your internal teams. Contacts to multiple accounts, which allows you to manage individuals who work with or influence more than one company. Account hierarchies, which establish structured relationships among accounts, such as parent and subsidiary companies, and account teams, which identify the co-workers within your organization who collaborate on specific accounts. Now, let's dive into the powerful contacts to multiple accounts feature, a game changer for managing relationships with contacts tied to multiple businesses. Imagine a single point of contact who oversees several shops or consults for numerous clients. This feature highlights two types of relationships direct relationships, showcasing the primary account tied to the contact, and indirect relationships, revealing additional associations displayed in the related contacts list for an account. Once enabled by an administrator, this tool provides seamless visibility into who a contact collaborates with and in what capacity, all without the need for duplicate records. Let's bring this to life with a relatable scenario. You're preparing to meet Alan and Leung from Get Cloudy Consulting. While reviewing the account in Salesforce, you notice James Gordon listed under the related contact, even though James's primary account isn't Get Cloudy. Because contacts to multiple accounts is enabled, you see James's indirect link to Get Cloudy. He has consulted for them in the past. That insight is pure gold for your sales cycle. You might reach out to James to glean more background on Get Cloudy or to see if he can offer valuable introductions. Better yet, you can tailor your pitch based on James's insights about the organization. Next, let's talk about account hierarchies. This comes in handy if you have a large company with multiple regional or subsidiary offices. For example, you might see related accounts like Get Cloudy East, Get Cloudy West, and Get Cloudy Canada. If Get Cloudy is the main head office, you would note this as the parent account on each regional office's record. To view an account's hierarchy, go to the Accounts tab, select the account, and click the hierarchy icon next to its name. Salesforce then generates a family tree, so you can see how all these Get Cloudy branches are related at a glance. Establishing effective account hierarchies is key to managing your data efficiently. Two common approaches are the Global Enterprise Account and location-specific accounts. A global enterprise account consolidates everything under one overarching account, making enterprise-level tracking simpler, but potentially cumbersome when dealing with large volumes of data. Alternatively, location-specific accounts create individual accounts for each branch or region, offering more granular control, improved clarity, and accurate reporting. Salesforce generally recommends the location-specific approach as it ensures every region receives focused attention while maintaining a high-level view through well-structured hierarchies. Let's not forget about your own team's role in working with a particular account. If you're the only person dealing with an account, that's straightforward. However, if multiple people within your organization are involved, account teams help you keep track of who does what. Each person can be assigned a role, like sales rep, support agent, or marketing specialist. You can grant specific levels of access to the account's details, opportunities, and cases based on that role. This way, your support agent can edit support cases, whereas a marketing specialist might only need read access to keep abreast of marketing campaigns. You can also save time by setting up a default account team in your personal settings, which can automatically populate whenever you create or open an account. Now it's time to roll up your sleeves with a quiz challenge. Question 1. What two types of account contact relationships can you see in contacts to multiple accounts? A. Positive and negative. B. 
parent and sibling, C, happy and unhappy, D, direct and indirect, E, complete and incomplete. The correct answer is D, direct and indirect. Why? Remember Salesforce's contacts to multiple accounts. Feature specifically supports direct and indirect account contact relationship types, allowing for more complex relationship mapping. Question two, how do you set up the account hierarchy? A, ask an administrator to set it up for you. B, add a parent account to the account's record. C, record the parent account's name in a note on the account D, write it on a sticky note and put it on your desk. The correct answer is B, add a parent account to the account's record. The most straightforward and system supported method to establish account hierarchy is by directly adding a parent account within the account record itself. Question three, who should be on your personal default account team? A, co-workers from your department who want to know how you achieve all your success. B, all the contacts for all your accounts. C, co-workers you usually work with on your accounts. D, customers who responded positively to the last marketing campaign. The correct answer is C, co-workers you usually work with on your accounts. The default account team should consist of colleagues who regularly collaborate and work together on specific accounts, ensuring effective team coordination. Today, we explored how contacts to multiple accounts help you track both direct and indirect relationships for individuals with multiple affiliations. Account hierarchies provide a clear view of how companies connect by designating parent accounts and account teams enable you to define roles and access levels for your team, master these features, and you'll transform Salesforce into a powerful roadmap of your business ecosystem. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials. We also love to hear about your experiences. Drop a comment below to share how you manage complex accounts. Thank you.